in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Let's lift our hands and bless the Lord tonight. Just wave your hands to Jesus and bless you. Call him every name and every blessing him to be. Understanding. Please lift your voice. Grant understanding, O oh God. Grant understanding in the name of Jesus. Grant us understanding. Grant us understanding in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lord, we ask you again for understanding in the name of Jesus. Let our hearts be receptive to your word and let it transform our lives and let the proof be at work in our lives and through.
through our lives in jesus name amen god bless you please be seated it's good to be back home i want to thank the lord for this opportunity again it was a great time in god's presence I want us to pray tonight and um, tonight's teaching is a call you know tonight made me understand again the power of being in the spirit and truly what can happen to a man when you are genuinely connected to the flow of what God is doing Praise the Lord. Yes. As I came up here and heard Pastor Alpha teaching, and then. So tonight's teaching is a call. If you are not great and you have not seen anything in God, you may not need tonight's teaching. Tonight's teaching is for people who have seen the hand of God tonight's teaching is for people who have committed themselves to press into the things of the spirit and, um, doesn't mean that if you're just starting out the teaching for you but this is God speaking to the matured ones tonight in the name of Jesus Christ come up hither part one Come up hither, part one. Unto him who sits on the throne, blessing and honor. Blessing and honor. To Jesus, the Lamb that was slain. Glory and power, glory and power, unto him who sits on the throne, blessings and honor. Glory and power
makes a revelation real to you.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated if you can and then be sensitive. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Especially for those of us who came from far, you didn't come to waste your time. You see, let me tell you something about a call and a ministry. Listen, listen. See, when God calls a man, the anointing is not the only thing that is given. You have to understand this. Every ministry has many standard spiritual features. When God calls a man, please listen. There is an anointing that is upon that man by reason of his knowledge and his personal press into the things of God. There is the anointing that is on the office that that man occupies spiritually. There is the anointing that is on that man by reason of discerning and being part of the current move of God. They are not the same. Are we together? And then there is the anointing that comes by reason of the dimensions that God wants to take people into based on the truths that are revealed. And then at certain levels, depending on the call and what office, there are covenants. Please listen. That means a vow that God made with that man that as far as it relates to this assignment i have bound myself to do certain things that has nothing to do with even the vessel you see that then there are angelic manifestations listen now there are angels that work with believers There are angelic presence please listen as a believer he said his angels she shall put his angels charge over you there are angelic presence that work with believers but there are angels that don't follow a man they follow anointings they don't need to know who that individual is it's an office the same way they give you an office and there are cars, there are PAs, they don't have to know you. It is part of the equipping of the kingdom. You see that? It's very important. And then there are also angelic presence that signify revelations. It is not only the anointing that gives revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which he gave unto John, his servant he said he sent it and signified it by his angel hallelujah so when you're in a meeting like this and you see things like this happen it's an interplay of many things it's not just a generic move of an anointing from an anointed man there are things happening that have nothing to do with the vessel himself there are things that are as a result of the, the health of the secret place of the vessel. There are certain things that are based on the office that is being played. I, I just wanted you to learn and to know this. Because many times believers just wonder. Look, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You see, these things, God is blessing. It's not just that God is proving that a man is anointed. Some of these people fall in. Many things are happening at the same time. There are deliverances. There are impartations. There are the, the opening spiritual vistas. It's like a veil just being opened to move men into dimensions. This is how people grow. This is how people grow.
it is not my desire to carry some of these graces and these possibilities and just have people watch it <clears throat> when God sends a word to Jacob it is because of Israel that you will also be able to carry these dimensions you see transformation is difficult when there is no reference so God finds a man that represents a possibility and then your spirit and your mind is able to comprehend that dimension as true and possible then you can release your faith and step into it koinonia we call it is it alright if you pray for one minute and just ask the Lord say Lord all the graces all the revelations Pastor Alpha let us no you don't have to stand just pray please pray with desperation and hunger hallelujah praise the lord please be seated revelations 4 tonight will be a mighty time it will be brief so that we'll pray we pray for grace we pray for strength revelations chapter 4 this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be thereafter Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must not may be certainty, things which must be thereafter. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Jeremiah 33. And verse 3 how can I see by myself unless you take over I'll never know it on my own unless you take over take over Jesus take over take over Jesus take over how can I see it by myself unless you take over I will not hear it on my own unless you take over take over you cannot learn it on your own unless it takes over you'll never see it by yourself unless it takes over listen there are dimensions you can never see by willpower and study it is given like an initiation until your eyes are open you will never see it he said call on to me and i will answer i will be the one to show you if i don't show you you cannot see it you can study you can pray you can fast but for seeing you may have eyes but you can never see it there are realms that are shown 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 it's called fellowship with the mystery you are brought into oneness with truths and revelations 
We'll never know it by ourselves Unless it takes over We cannot know it by ourselves I'll never hear you on my own Unless you take over Take over Jesus take over Take over Take over Please sit down Tonight Is a call to press higher tonight is a call to shake us away and out of spiritual complacency tonight is a call to show us that there is more that regardless of that which we have seen there is more that's why I said if you have not done anything serious in the spirit this message may not be for you this message is for someone who has healed before is for someone who has prophesied before is for someone who is at the cutting edge of the move of God is for someone who has tasted and seen the power and the glory of God tonight's message is for someone who knows what it means to be used by God tonight's message is someone is for someone who knows what it means to have the anointing not guessing come up here he said Come up here to a higher realm of prophecy, to a higher realm of teaching, to a higher realm of visions, to a higher realm of spiritual power. I'm a student of revivals. God has granted me the privilege to study the moves of God. Please listen. And I have studied revivals I've listened to a few senior colleagues and fathers in the ministry talk about revivals either based on their experiences or what they were told please listen carefully and I learned this from a man of God that the current move of God always fights the next move of God that the enemy of the next move of God is the current move because many times listen carefully every move of God comes with a level of outstanding results every move of God comes with a performance in a higher dimension and usually because of the the consistency that will come with that move over a period of time it is easy for those who have mastered the strategy that makes them relevant within that move to plateau in the spirit and not believe that there can be more again now listen very carefully when the healing ministry started listen carefully great men like alexander the way and these generals of god they moved in very strange dimensions but then a time came when the healing ministry seemed to just plateau because it looked like men had gotten to the zenith of what they believed that God could do when the prophetic came people rose to certain levels and it looked like those who were the highest manifestors of those gifts just stood at a realm This is not backsliding. This is that you have exhausted every possibility that is within the jurisdiction of that move. There is nothing you can do as far as that dimension is concerned. You have exhausted it. At that level, you will need Revelations chapter 4. A time will come when you will find out that every dimension you need to see as written for you by God within a level you have exhausted it you've read it you've preached it you've done everything and let me tell you this listen very carefully I say it with all humility 
but I have seen you, you see when you start walking with God because of the extent of the downpour listen carefully of visions of revelations you are being open to new things and then especially if you have the privilege of what I call pioneer status that means that you are the among the few to introduce that dimension to a territory because of the scarceness of that revelation there will be a lot to do I mean you are so full of revelation you can preach back to back and there are messages but a time will come when the people within that territory all come into that experience they are baptized into it now listen very carefully remember when you were introducing it because very few people knew about that dimension there was hunger and the hunger will always draw you anything you say there will be an applause for it because very few people could enter that dimension but with time everybody will continue to press as you guide them listen carefully you will get to a point where the least has entered like the ark of noah at that point now you will find out that together the goal for that season has been met because god now used you and showed you a dimension and so for three or four years sometimes you will not even need to study anything new you are so full so full you, it's like it's a, it's like an animal that has just given birth and wanting the children to suck when that happens let me tell you what happens usually because of the joy the beauty the honor the applause that comes by reason of your being used by God to produce certain dimensions you may fall into the deception that the zenith of what you communicate is all that there can be and so what you will continue doing is recycling the same thing recycling the same thing recycling the same thing to mean that this realm that have stayed is all there can be in God revelation starts with John the beloved do you know who John was John was not just an apostle he was called the beloved that means if you arrange all the disciples according to their permit me to use the word according to their spiritual stratification the first will not be peter the first will be john the beloved there abided these three faith peter hope james love john the greatest you see that now and john was banished in an isle called patmos for the sake of the testimony of jesus christ and while he was there he said i was in the spirit on the lord's day that, that's another discussion there because there are things you cannot see he said flesh and blood has not revealed this there are levels in the spirit where until you rise in the spirit you cannot see you cannot know so he says i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard first started with his hearing i heard this and that and that and then eventually he saw the church the lamb stands and then he received the dimension of revelation to the seven churches that were in asia minor prophetically the catholic church the complete church because every one of those churches represented a dimension in the body that god was adjusting commending and correcting are we together having exhausted that then he was open to another dimension of worship in heaven are we together and to think that that was all john was being told by this revelation that john at this plane that you stand now there is nothing to see again everything has been seen and every instruction has been received notice john was never shown things that will happen from that plane he only saw things that were and things that are that was it then chapter 4 comes and he says come up hither and let's go to the future let me show you the things that must happen shortly and John rolls to the future 
there are realms that when you stand there you will see what has happened and what is happening but you may never see what god is up to you can be a christian you can still be called i learned very early in life and in ministry that as wonderful as fame is it can be dangerous that as wonderful as revelation and leadership is let me tell you this if you ever assume a pioneer status in the spirit you have to be extra careful pioneers are usually the ones who hardly finish read the bible there are few pioneers that finished moses leads the people and never gets into the promised land himself are you seeing that now it's very important it's easy to follow a move that was not introduced by you it's easy to follow on yours is just to observe and plate and to conform to it by the spirit the nation of israel did not have to climb the mountain to experience god they just needed to look at the face of the one who already went what was in the mountain was now on the face of a man so instead of climbing up the mountain they just kept looking at moses and they would have the same experience but it was up to moses to know the next thing that god would be doing are we together now powerful as moses was you can see the extent of his trial and error they will wait behind and wait for him to go and fish out the new move then all of them will come and follow it was because of this moses was instructed to speak to the rock and in anger he struck the rock and because of that he said no 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 no. this was not my program you've corrupted it you cannot enter canaan pioneering the move of god is very dangerous many people like the honor that follows this and that to say oh we are the ones that started this dimension but you see the thing about it is that because you are at that level you will feel indebted to that level you will be emotionally connected to that move you cannot leave it to the next level are we together now yes that you were the first to be to open up a dimension of god to a territory it's like you are the first to start producing this and now when you are aware that this is no longer in use if everybody leaves it you will not want to leave it too because of that relationship that's how it is even with spiritual things there are dimensions that you can be so emotionally connected to because of the experiences that surround that dimension and when another move of God starts coming you will prefer that the move comes to meet you there but not to leave that level and to rise higher that's why i said it is dangerous to pioneer spiritual things it's a noble cause and it's a noble task but the burden on it it will only take the spirit of the living god to help you the second reason why it is dangerous or by dangerous i don't mean it is not advantageous that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that you are in a very vulnerable position the second is that because of the charisma and the ego are we together and the sense of achievement that surrounds that level the moment you and any other move that is happening within that dispensation that you don't seem to be involved in you can preach that it is error or it is satanic or it is demonic because you are used to being the starter you are not used to following you are used to starting moves understand what i'm saying you know you see that if you have not done anything in god tonight's teaching may not really bless you john was the first of his kind to introduce this dimension of the prophetic a very strange prophet the bible says of all the prophets none was as great as john so john is in the wilderness eating locusts and wild honey a strange dimension of revelation when jesus comes john baptizes jesus 
and then he's happy that he's baptized jesus even john said i may decrease i'm not sure he understood what he was saying now eventually the disciples of john had to start leaving to join something that was a move john was never in one of jesus's crusades they didn't hang him the next day they didn't lock him the next day john was alive he was there he never saw the need because he believed that the the emotional connect and the ego of pioneering things did not allow him to go there notice all the people that seemed to be pioneers were those who were offended with jesus the scribes and the pharisees we are the sanhedrin council what are you doing jesus all the followers were excited what is the new thing let us join if it's bread we eat if it's the mountain we climb but the scribe said not so this is not how we have been doing it including john follow me very carefully so john is hearing of the things jesus is doing and a few disciples who are loyal to him too come back look at the pain in john's heart the people he had raised i don't know what john thought he would become but his honor was already there for his assignment completed but john probably believed that he would continue to run that ministry the same way jesus was running it to like a parallel whatever it is and it seemed as though jesus did not have regard for john because we never see jesus making any mention of john go and greet john or oh, john just to tell you your boy is still here the move continues and the fame of jesus is growing john is threatened the scribes are threatened the roman government threatened everything every day was an episode of mighty things listen very carefully follow me i want to show you something powerful mm. one day john gets himself in trouble and he's behind bars about to be beheaded and he sends in offense listen this is the current move fighting the next move go and confirm are you the one that we should be waiting for are you the messiah or is there another it was a sarcastic statement it was not a question that required an answer john was not ignorant he was a prophet and when jesus had it jesus said i know what the problem is it's a weakness in men it's a weakness in pioneers it's a weakness in those who are trusted to pioneer certain moves listen what i'm teaching you is very deep you will listen to one message some years to come and you will cry when god sent you to a region where they do not know one tenth of the truths that god has taught you and for many years you become a celebrity and a mighty man and god begins to do mighty things in and through you and then one day you will hear and see of things that you were not involved with and you will see. this is the challenge oh, let me not go ahead of myself this is one of the major challenges with all due respect of fathers and senior colleagues in ministry because of the mighty things that god did in and through them and the dimensions that were introduced sincerely speaking not out of wickedness or whatever they were so emotionally connected to starting things that they believe that if god is ever to do anything it is impossible for them to not start it so when they hear that mighty things are happening and they don't seem to be involved they think it's to their honor whereas john was not there when jesus commended him as the greatest prophet in other words as far as this move is concerned receive your crown. you have done a great job but let the program of god continue and if you are interested you will have to humble yourself and join that move provided you are not pioneering it I will show you those who got it right in the bible one of them was mary no woman as a virgin had ever gotten pregnant it was a new dimension now mary had a right to sit down and say my son jesus 
my this my that but when she discerned there was a new move she followed them to the upper room and waited quietly the mother of jesus among the 120 who would receive the holy ghost was it not the before some of them were born she had been relating with the holy ghost it was the holy ghost that got her pregnant and now she's coming to receive him in another dimension with humility you understand what i would teach you you will never miss any move of god if you don't get it there are moves that will leave you you will stand in shock it's not backsliding you will just say lord when did this cloud pass me mary got it right john did not john was offended i will show you that even jesus got it right he knew that purpose was not just to come and remain on earth he knew the timing and even in advance he began to tell them i am not afraid of handing over because it is in handing over that my honor is multiplied listen so jesus is preparing the people watch this and then he uses a very dangerous statement it is expedient that i go ah. they said no you must remain here you will be king we eat bread we like you remain we like this kind of ministry but he was saying no 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 i'm even coming to i'm a bridge between the old and the new you must be so desperate for god that the position you occupy in the things of God should not matter. You must be so desperate for the things of God like Mary. You can give birth to Jesus and still join to wait. She was not the one leading praise and worship in the upper room. If Mary comes and sits in Koinonia now, I will give her the mic. I will just give her and sit down. What does it like to carry the word of God bodily for nine months? Mary, talk to us, let's learn. I will hand over the ministry to Mary. There was no mention of her speaking. Imagine Mary was there among the 120. So Peter is praying. Remember Jesus told us that in 10 more days, the Holy Ghost will come and Mary is watching them. You know the level of humility it takes to be a mighty mover in a dimension sustain the humility to stand back there is an obsession in men to be known there is an obsession in men to be famous it's a weakness in men please listen back to our story so john is offended and makes a sarcastic statement go and ask jesus whether he's the messiah the same said behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world now said go and verify jesus we are not sure again do you know what that message would have done to the disciples they would have said if prophet john is now doubting jesus it means we have to be careful it was a sarcastic way of saying be careful with that meeting be careful with that move <laughs> so when jesus had it he laughed he said go and the blind see this and that and the gospel is preached he said blessed is he that is not offended in me then the disciples were now at the center stage and one day listen carefully they heard that there were other people who were not part of their camp there was there were some powerful miracles happening somewhere and the disciples said jesus what is going on here and jesus laughed he said you guys want to make the mistake of john whoever is not against us whoever is not against us is for us they were so happy there was a time the the remember the mother of james and john she wanted to come and see him the disciples stopped and said what is it we're in a move we're enjoying you see why they were angry when jesus said he was going they said well, what is all this one now so what is our own take on this you have created trouble for us and now you want to leave you are not going anywhere and jesus said no it is expedient that i go i'm going because I, you will now be on the center stage with the holy spirit and they refused jesus was secured enough 
to finish his assignment and to step back to say spirit of the living god these are the ones that represent the next move use them mightily i will still be glorified i'm digressing to make this statement so that you will understand i have seen a lot of people who started great things in the body and today they are not benefactors of the next move because their attachment and their ego will not give them the flexibility to blend into what god was doing and so because they are they are being inert in the next move of god will have to require an explanation so they will fabricate an explanation that communicates error and they'll say forget about those people that's one of the reasons why so many people have insulted the prophetic today i know that the prophetic has its own errors i know if the prophetic has its own imbalances but many people because the dealings of god at that time did not open up to this dimension there are people for instance who will see what just happened here and say no way god does not move like this this is nonsense just because god did not move the way he was moving before does not mean he's not the one moving. The flexibility to discern the next move of God and that if you are interested, you open up your heart and say, Lord, I must not pioneer that move to join what you are doing. If it is God and it brings glory to you, I'm on my way going. It's a very difficult thing. Difficult thing. If you are a follower, it's okay. But if you are one who moves, why will you see Mary among the 120 sitting quietly? I have looked for certain names who were once great names in the body in as much as the move of the spirit within their time was there and those names are almost silent and there has been no interest to find out what else is god doing and sometimes they have begun to teach that look anything that is outside the scope of what we know is nonsense that is a dangerous thing that is the mistake of john john would have followed jesus quietly and he would have died honorably there would have been no reason for being beheaded in every crusade jesus would have given him honor even the scribes were given honor as terrible where they never sat outside they sat inside they hated him but at least they followed they followed nicodemus came one day and said jesus let me tell you we are not stupid we know we know we see what you are doing we see the formation of a new move we know that you are a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him except god be with him i'm taking our time to establish this before we begin to build i just felt it strongly in my spirit to tell us do you know why i'm saying this zaria hear me you are a privileged place this is a place that god has put his hand very strongly and many people from here listen god is distributing people from this city across several places and you see when you get to some of those regions you will be surprised that as cheap as some of these revelations we trivialize are you will find out that some of those regions are in utter scarcity and you will be so relevant within a period and if you do not sustain the discernment to know what next when people come into that dimension and you don't know how to come up hither you will be in big trouble you will become the biggest enemy to the next move of god alexander the way was a mighty mighty healing evangelist listen carefully he created what we call zion the zion city are we together now when you know then they didn't have internet and communication was not strong so you couldn't know what was happening in, in another part of the world the way was doing a mighty mighty work until a strange woman later appeared called maria woodward eater listen 
when Maria Woodward Ita appeared, she introduced a dimension of the move of God that they call presence evangelism. That was when people would fall down like this and literally freeze in the same position for hours, having heavenly encounters. And she was a woman. Until then, the way was not aware that something was happening at the other side of the world. The day Alexander Doe heard it, history has it. This is confirmed. Alexander Doe told everybody that this woman, number one, as a woman, number two, this dimension was occultism. And he used his influence to fight that woman. Her first husband joined that conviction and fought her till he died. The current move of God usually will be the biggest challenge to the next move of God. The same way the law was the biggest challenge to the grace of God. Remember that the Sanhedrin council started by the impartation of the spirit of Moses upon 70 elders. That's how it started. Eventually it had now become a religious place. And when Jesus came, they could not even identify him. So John had exhausted all his revelation within a dimension he had seen. Had John returned back, John would never believe that there were higher dimensions. But then the angel told him, come up here. Please prophesy to somebody, say, come up here. Come up here. And I will show you the things that must happen. I call what I just explained to you the tragedy of complacency that comes with a successful move of God. It is a complacency. It is, it is, it is weaved in men. It is a weakness in men. That when, when you are successful in executing God's desire for a season, usually the impetus to inquire lord can there be more will not be there because there are obvious evidences nobody can come and say you are not anointed nobody can say you are not intelligent the records are there to show that you are anointed the records are there to show you have built a great church the records are there to show you are mighty let me give you an instance in nigeria today the pattern of church growth is that there usually will be a central church like a headquarters is that true and then you will now have branches all together connected do you know that was not how it was before there was a move of god that brought that formation do you know what the next move is because many young people in our generation now every dimension you climb has the strategy for the move of god i'm not saying that is wrong you understand what i'm saying so the way god revealed to our fathers most of them you will find out that there is a central headquarters is that true that coordinates everything then there are branches around the world it was never like that in the history of nigeria in fact before that time the strategy was to have a small church and be dangerously anointed and just hide there like a seer and your job is to part and release people that was the strategy men like apostle babalola it was after his death that csc expanded like that the, the apostolic church and, and all of that when you read about them most of the great pioneers of the churches we have today especially around the west when they were the way they were they were small look at redeem for instance the founder they had not received the blueprint of establishment and expansion like that our fathers stayed with god and god said for this move that i am bringing this is the strategy I am revealing. Are you seeing that now? But as wonderful as that is, it can be dangerous for someone in our generation to just mechanically begin to envisage. Because in the next 20 years, technology has taught us that you must be at the cutting edge of evolution. The same way it is scientifically, that's the same way it is spiritually. So if in our generation, your dream is to have branches in every state, 
you are already at the verge of missing something serious because that is not the pattern that will come we must be able to stay and say lord what is the pattern as at the time that move started there was no internet to agree so the advantage of connectivity was not there do you know what the move of god will be now that internet is an advantage that a man can sit in his room and be talking to the whole world it's dangerous to be where god was it's dangerous to be where God was. He said, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and who is to come. It's a dangerous thing to be where God was. It's a dangerous thing to be involved in what God was doing. You have to posture yourself to be relevant in what God is doing and what he's about to do your current level at your current spiritual level you can only see what god is doing that's the limit if you want to see the future you must come up here from revelations one to three there was nothing futuristic it was a revelation of things that were and the things that are the moment he wanted to see the next program of god he was asked to rise to a higher dimension if you're with me say amen so we must trust God for grace to conquer what I call the tragedy of complacency please be careful when you are the greatest of your kind within a territory pray more fast more because the rest are waiting for you to move and if you don't move just like you they will stay and can I tell you something usually when the move of god comes all the followers are just faster because there is no embarrassment like the disciples of john it is usually you you see which is also another reason why listen men of god we must teach as though there is more in god it is dangerous you are teaching doctrines doctrines will not change they are exact spiritual precepts given to the saints but when you are studying the life the character of god you must create a lot of flexibility and i'm the position of a student even before your members so that there is no embarrassment if and when you have to adjust to the things that god is doing if you're with me say amen mm. an arrival mentality is a dangerous mentality for a christian for a man of god an arrival mentality i've seen miracles i've seen signs i've seen wonders i've seen the move of god but could that could could it be that there's more in god than you've not seen now i'm going to make a very serious statement i want you to listen and sean names is a father of faith that has gone to be with the lord respected voice in the body a great well, I call him great grandfather now Papa E. Hagen when you read Hagen's books and you see a lot of things that Hagen wrote you will know that Hagen was absolutely at the cutting edge of what God was doing at his time but when you read Papa Hagen's books with the lens of what God is doing now you will find a lot of gaps and the need for improvement which is proof he succeeded it's not proof that he's weak it's proof that he succeeded he left us a template a ladder to build upon it was papa hagin that wrote things like the anointing of the spirit the only medium that the anointing can move upon is a prayer cloth and he's right because he saw it in the bible but now we know that that is not absolutely true it was a dimension of truth that was seen based on him the anointing of the spirit is as limitless as god himself are you getting what i'm saying now it's very important let me tell you this i have seen visions of the coming move of god and i have been stretched myself because of the dimension of the things that will happen those dimensions will be fought tooth and nail 
when i say tooth and nail there are dimensions that even as a strong believer you will need grace from god you will need to look well from the lens of scripture is the reason why god is grounding us on the word now so that when that dimension comes the your dexterity in the word will make you <laughs> listen to what i'm telling you there are things we have not yet seen on earth that must happen before christ comes the bible records it there are dimensions we have only spoken about the prophet said it if as i'm standing here right now you just see this mic on the table and i'm out i'm gone by this night an internet is going to say finally exposed the voodoo power even from this example some of you are already afraid for me apostle don't do it oh you see let me tell you this yet we read in the bible that the spirit took philip and told him to join the chariot of a man not in a vision a man dematerialized entered the realm of the spirit reformed back and stayed on a chariot and the eunuch was afraid he didn't run away he told nathaniel you will see greater things than this he told nathaniel that you will see heavens opened and the angels ascending and descending upon the son of man let me tell you this the miracles that have stretched us now and the dimensions of the power and the word of god will be child's play compared to the things that god has because the pride of men and this cosmos there must be the introduction of something so divine and powerful to bring the kings to their knees this current level cannot bring the kings to their knees again you can what you call now the move of god go to dubai go to singapore go to the u.s and challenge them they will look at you and say stupid this is what you came to tell me let me tell you the truth we are not going to win the world just by charity i believe in charity don't get me wrong but right now the church is beginning to be so afraid they don't have any other superior result so they just have to blend to feed the poor so that that's the only condition to be accredited by non-christian organizations that the, the world's interpretation of the church's relevance is feeding the poor and hungry and i don't have a problem with it but they are reducing us so everybody's now saying look it looks like the court the in thing now if you don't want to be criticized quietly find orphans or find widows buy sewing machine and color or something just share and snap and the world will say well done this is what you the colder you are the more the world says well done we are now seeing what you are doing there are tv programs today that will not air koinonia like this with what happened no way no way with the move of god like this someone shouting <clears throat> You are creating controversy that will make the regulatory agencies get into trouble. Like I said, if you're a new believer tonight, you will need extra grace from God. That's why I, I pre-warned you already ahead of time. We need something more than what we have now to bring the arrogance of the kings of the earth. Let me tell you, they have prosperity they have health do you know that most of what we claim the power of god does we don't even have it well mention three or four things the only thing that the church now in as much as we know can boast of one salvation two the personal communion of the holy spirit three the peace that surpasses all understanding but as far as anything earthly is concerned and the things i just mentioned are the things we don't emphasize most of the things we emphasize are the things we cannot defend so we talk a lot about the miraculous and while we are making all that noise someone in dubai has discovered a way of just making what we will do as a miracle cheap and they will soon make it easy and if that happens we are going to be in trouble because a day will come on a crusade ground 
just sharing a fence will be a free medical outreach with sophisticated machines and those who are not healed in our meetings will just enter there quickly and in five minutes they are giving when that happens i'm not being sarcastic when that happens let me tell you something will go wrong because one day the government can shut down a church and say we have examined and we cannot see your relevance the church is more than a charity organization it is our fear and our inability to rise higher we have a, remember there was a time where the healing ministry the prophetic and all these things was cast on earth the world had not caught up with that dimension so if you had it you could shine but not now not now put a poster and put a wheelchair up nobody could dare question a miracle before but right now someone will come in that crusade ground you will think he came to be blessed he's videotaping everything from your face to the person on the wheelchair they will go and examine the person and say was that leg going to work anyway or was it your prayer that made it work if i have malaria and i've started taking anti-malaria and i'm on day four and you pray for me was i going to be healed anyway or was it the prayer that brought it this is the judgmental spirit that our generation has in the days of our fathers nobody will ask that question it will be on paper mighty things are happening and a crowd now mighty things draw criticism our generation let me tell you this as some of our parents who are here there were many things that they knew that was not the best but they had an unflinching loyalty for the voices in their time nobody would dare stand up and question a man of god if they were not satisfied they will leave him and go home and pray for him remember that talk of pray for him right now a man can be preaching and a young man can stand up and say sir what you are saying no and create a debate there welcome to a new level of living where if we don't get the strategy for now we will be in trouble are we together thank god for prosperity but of the forbes hundred richest people i'm not sure there are up to 10 of them who are tongue so using physical wealth to bring the world to his knees is almost a failed project because there are some of these people who have given 95 percent of their wealth i'm not aware of any believer who has done that now i may be wrong but i'm not aware it means he must take something more than money If it's education the best institutes in the whole world are not christian institutes my brothers and my sisters let me tell you whether it's research whether it's medicine whether it's whatever we have to be honest if it's in the term in terms of well-meaning uh, civilization and all of that go to hedonistic nation that have no for god and look at level of development infrastructure you look at all of these things many of them are already the future of africa in the next 30 years now what then will bring the kings of today's world to their knees when moses went with a rod to meet pharaoh pharaoh said nonsense you left the wilderness to come and show me a rod to become a snake i am pharaoh you show me more we can sing songs and fall down in the church congratulations but let me tell you we need to take something out that can bring the kings to their knees in babylon babylon was a place of wizardry there was something that happened with daniel there was something that happened with shadrach meshach and abednego that made the king to testify the king passed a decree unanimously that nobody should bow to any other god again except the god of shadrach meshach and abednego are we blessed we must receive grace to not ever believe that what we have seen is all there is we must obtain grace please hear me if you here thank god for the wonderful things but you must obtain grace 
the second point on what I want to talk about tonight I'm just charging your mind the first I, I put it as the tragedy of complacency and arrival mentality the second is a condition that must be needed and met in a life if you will ever attract the hand of God that will take you to a higher dimension is called hunger and thirst it's not enough to be ready to move to another level hunger and thirst are accurate measures of your spiritual health the same way when a patient is sick one of the symptoms in most cases is that you lose appetite when you lose appetite spiritually something is wrong matthew chapter 5 and verse 6 says blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness it says that they will be filled hunger and thirst john chapter 7 and verse 37 let's read it very quickly boy my time is gone john 7 and verse 37 look up please in the last day the great day of the feast jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if you do not thirst you can stay with what i've given with all the days but in this new day i have been visiting you but on this last day if you are still thirsty come listen listen and understand what he's saying remember that it was not the first day the last day they had benefited from all the other days but in the last day he said if any man thirst let him come you have enjoyed the move of god before you have seen the hand of god before you have seen the grace of god before you have seen the sick healed before and god is saying in 2019 if there is any man that still thirst come if there is any church that is still thirsty come Koinonia, if you still believe there is more and you desire, come. That means if you are not thirsty, you can go. It's all right. If any man thirst, let him come. Hunger and thirst, powerful. Without hunger and thirst, there is no appetite and there is no desire for more of God. This teaching, you hear me tell you tonight, if you don't hunger after it will not make sense you want to listen to something else this is a teaching for people who know that there can be more this is a teaching for many people who know that lord seen you or oh, i've seen you do a lot of things but i know that there is more in you there is more in you this was the mistake of lucifer lucifer saw a dimension of god he was the custodian the librarian of heaven and by the strength of everything he saw, he believed he had exhausted all there was in God. And then he wanted to rise to run a parallel government with God. And there was judgment in heaven. And he was brought to his knees. That was why when God was recreating man, it surprised him. Because he didn't know that those possibilities were there. They were not captured in the truths that were given to him. Reproduction multiplication through reproduction had never happened it was creation now that a man one man can meet with his wife and have a child that will own ah said something is wrong and so the angels came to meet with the daughters of men to use that strategy to create something else hunger and thirst one of my prayers a man of god every time i said lord please you know i've shared it with you here lord do not show me the extent of my impact it's my prayer and i'm saying it even as i'm preaching here just give me a token let me just see a bit of what you are using me to do and i'm grateful and i'm satisfied let me tell you if you think fame cannot influence you think again was it not the same alexander the way that went to a tailor went to a fashion designer 
to sew just mantle with the cap that kind of prophet chef cap he sold everything and tied his ghetto behold elijah he read the bible and said this man is me now what is this what have, what has he done that i'm not doing they first started saying you are elijah they know no all glory be to the lord but the time came they said you are elijah it's true there are things you will not believe now keep rising tomorrow they will say it and you will believe it how do you think people become jesus i don't mean image of jesus likeness of jesus some gentlemen came here one time from Kano. Remember those that those Jesus guys and the apostles? Now I say I don't know if you are here, but they came some gentlemen immediately after service. And one of them came for altar call. As soon as they were done, I just saw the gentleman. He said he's was it Judas? One was Judas, one was Jesus, and this young man came from Kano. As soon as I saw them, I gave them a big hug. I said, Look, uh, my, my Jesus friend, let me tell you something. You are in the image listen please i'm teaching you are in the image of christ yes are we together you have attained oneness with christ based on the doctrine of the gospel yes you are in christ one with christ yes are we together now the holy spirit represents the presence of jesus in your life yes but that you are jesus in terms of replacement you are not like that do you think that guy got born again like that not seen people pray under a tree for many weeks and by the fifth week they left that tree mad with strange revelations from beings that were not of earth pride is a dangerous thing fame has a side effect when you begin to clap for you sometimes it becomes embarrassing to step back and let jesus be seen because spotlight is sweet oh oh mine mediocre spotlight can can bless your children's children so when the spotlight is on you you plan to be there forever so that when you shift your child too will be there when you shift your grandchild too will be there but there are times when jesus says that you decrease that you will increase and many times it is embarrassing you know i go for meetings and when i see the mighty things that god is doing or sometimes when i'm teaching and the teaching grace is really on me i see the shock and the wonder on the people and i say oh dear don't be deceived you're only watching a puppet there is one behind me may i never be ashamed to let the world know that i am nothing without him this is not just some humility creed there are many proud people who say this thing i'm saying it's very true you must get to a point in your life where you are not ashamed to stand back and tell the people it is Jesus Jesus ever Jesus only he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men to myself let's get back to what we're discussing hunger and thirst there are times as a man of God come it will be embarrassing at your spiritual level to now join the flock to kneel down and cry for his a greater dimension you kneeling down for the flock can kneel down i'm kneeling down this guy is standing <laughs> are we together watch this a time a time can come huh when everybody is crying for more people are rolling on the ground and saying lord search my heart and as a man of god it's not any personality difference you would let them to the throne room and you are just standing there there's no need because you have become the throne room yourself you see deception is subtle so you will tell them to fast and you too you will not fast what is the need i mean whether i fast or not you see that if you want to be captured in every move of god same hunger that made you climb a tree like a monkey and held on to one branch and cried there and said god i will not come down from this tree except you bless me and god said come down i will show you what you want to see if that same hunger is not there now you can stay in a five-star hotel listen 
now you have all kinds of entourage do you know sometimes i look at my life today and i thank god for what god has done many times there are times that i wish that i had my life back in the days when nobody knew me fame can be destructive even to your spiritual life i can't go out freely i can't eat freely i can't be myself you see that i can't stroll out to just enjoy what god is doing if someone there catches me there instead of coming to join the light now that i've seen him let me just quickly it's a very embarrassing life it looks like fame but it's dangerous time today is a luxury you must intentionally sometimes close the door to some of this comfort and retreat back listen to me and say lord this is still your boy of before again oh they now call me apostle joshua selman but this is still your boy again and god says are you still as hungry as before he say hungrier than before oh god after the miracles yes sir after the fame yes sir And then he says, now I will take you and show you higher things. Hunger can be discerned. And let me tell you this. If you're a man of God, please listen. Your congregation will be a reflection of your hunger. The moment you become complacent, that impartation will come on them. They will strangely find out that the grace is no longer there. Everybody say hunger. almost 80 to 85 percent of the time if you meet me if i'm not studying i'm listening to a message or something there are times i just return from a ministration right there just entering my hotel room you would think i should lie down and cross my leg i started playing a message before i quickly went to go and preach now that i'm back thank god for the mighty things sincerely god is my witness there are a few times that i think about a meeting and what happened once I leave that place, it's all right. If you ever ask me, how is the meeting? The only thing you will hear is fine. Doesn't matter what happened. The answer is fine. That's it. One of the mighty things that happened here? Fine. A few times, some of you send me pictures and clips of what happened. And I look at it. Whoa, you mean this what happened? Lord, I give you praise. Let's continue. Do you know why? Because you see, you prepared for today, yesterday. You don't prepare for tomorrow, tomorrow. You prepare for tomorrow, today. They are celebrating what you did yesterday. If you are not doing anything today, there will be nothing to celebrate tomorrow. Listen to me. You have to learn this. Those who win Olympic, as soon as they are done, they rest for a while, go on a vacation one month, and they are already preparing for the next Olympic. Champions don't rest. Champions move not in a competitive manner there is more in god listen to me you are not going to clap for me now because someone fell under the anointing you may do that for your president in your small fellowship you're not going to say glory be to god koinonia was powerful because someone was shaking no there are testimonies today that if you hear in another church you will stand up and clap i watch here Somebody would give a very big testimony and coin up, up and just clap one hand and say, Is this it? Go and sit down. We want something more. And you are right. You are right. You are right. Because your capacity is being expanded. That means yesterday's food will not feed you. Give an adult a baby's food and you say, This is for what? The baby is grateful for having it. But the adult is still hungry don't you know that the more you grow the more the nourishment must be strong in size and quality the burden of being at the cutting edge of god's move will require you to be listen listen that hunger must remain in you that hunger must remain in you you see all the wonderful things that just happened when the, the meeting just started I go back to God. Let me tell you something with me and God. 
there are few times and i want to be very sincere with you god is in this place there are few times where god comments on any meeting that i've gone to no this is the realm of champions you don't talk like mediocres i don't come back to god and god says ah son you did a great job in that crusade what for no let's continue the training like a coach looks at an athlete you are the best in the field and after they snap you and do everything the coach is watching you not in anger he's impressed and once you come he says go and change your clothes wait for me in the field it's proof of his love you have conquered that standard and he takes you higher this is what happened to david david was so david exhausted the realm of his generation and rose up into another realm and began to see the coronation of the messiah the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand no other prophet saw that it was david that understood the excellency of the spirit the spirit was never given without measure to people please listen and now david had got it he said cast me not away from your presence take not other prophets were comfortable with the holy spirit going and coming david said but i've seen that a move of god will come when this grace the spirit will come and stay lord can i not enter that move hunger hunger took david to the secret place as a king the palace did not mean anything to him he said i'd rather be a doorkeeper i'd rather be an usher let me be an usher the next move than to be a lord in the former move hunger and thirst for you dry and weary land I hunger and thirst for you Try and be the land For all I want is you In spite of the miracles in spite of the revelations, I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Yeah. Sing it from your heart. All I want is you. Lord, thank you for the revelations. Thank you for the miracles, for the word of knowledge, the prophetic. But Lord, I thank you for yesterday's wine, but I need the wine of today and tomorrow. I hunger thirst. must trust God for your secret place to have such a high standard that no matter what you are doing currently when you get back to the secret place you will see that it's a step out of the if your bar is too small pride will kill you if your bar is too small one successful program will kill you that's why you see all these young guys listen listen sometimes i talk to them and i encourage them don't let successful programs enter you don't let successful concerts enter you are you seeing that there are people whose spiritual lives went down there are people who could not pursue and seek after god again the next move of god success can depreciate your pace because when you are motivated by a need to hit a standard listen it will give you an impetus but where there is no where there is nothing to prove again there is no hunger
when you go for a meeting today whether you say god bless you and leave nobody will ever say oh he doesn't have revelation oh come on the track record is there nobody will ever say oh he cannot heal that's why i just did altar call and sat down when you are starting out in ministry the pressure to make your calling and election choice upon you so even in five minutes you want to do everything at once you want to prophesy you want to give word of knowledge you want to heal you want to share the latest revelation but as god begins to crown your 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 your, your life with undeniable graces and honor you get to a point where the pressure to rise is not there and it shows that you have plateaued it shows that you have arrived but when your hunger remains ah. when i was preparing this message i was praying for my own self i said lord my hunger should be larger than every anybody's own in this ministry otherwise how can i lead hunger i've prayed for but show me something else about prayer i've seen your power before but show me the one I've not seen. I've seen your anointing. But show me something else. I have seen the spirit of revelation. But show me something else. I have seen angels. But show me another dimension. At the apex of his apostolic ministry. Look at a man's hunger. That I may know him. That I may know him. Paul. I hope you know the doctrine of scripture starts from the writings of paul the acts of the apostles down to revelation the gospels do not contain doctrines no the doctrines of scripture are embedded there some of them were just shadows as presented paul single-handedly wrote to third do you know what it means for a man to create the study curriculum of the church it was not just jesus that wrote it Paul sat down and wrote to thirds. The, the limit of our spiritual growth is scripture. That is the boundary given to us for growth. And a man sat down by the spirit and wrote it. Yet when that man finished writing it, he said that I may know him. That I may know him. Oh God that I may know you. That I may know you. I have seen your power but that I may know you. A man of God said he went for a pastor's conference one time and Pastor E.A. Adeboye was there. And when it was time for all the men of God to pray, he said he wanted to lie down close to him to hear what kind of prayer a man at this realm would pray. And he said when he lay down all through for more than one hour, all that he was saying is mercy, mercy Lord, mercy, mercy Lord mercy the young minister there is in power power lord result open doors oh god offering send help us that 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 small kiosk like building must be completed whereas there is a man here with kilometers as an estate and his language and his desire mercy he has learned that one of the most important things is the mercy of Are you getting what I'm telling you now? Hunger. Hunger. If you're a pastor here, please minimize just praying for power and cry for hunger. Go back and buy the same new notebooks you bought that the spirit of revelation came to honor it. You have stopped buying it. Go and buy them again. Go and find a place where you used to sit alone with God. I'm too busy. I have counseling to do. I have mentees and sons in ministry. And you would die there. And they will go to the next move. Because they are followers. Matter, matter. You are worried and obsessed about many things. But one thing is needful. To sit at the master's feet. Please listen to me. The things you did. That brought you to this realm. Go back and start creating the atmospheres for them again.
hear what I'm telling you. This is not the issue of I'm a big man now. No, 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 no. I have my notebooks. You see my notebooks. I can I can gather all of them for you from the time I started working with God. When I go for retreats, I go with all of them. All of them. Lord, what did you say? My God, look at what you said. I bought new ones for tomorrow. I buy it like this and I show the Lord. I say, Lord, see it. Your student is here again. Packs of Biro. I'm ready. Because if you are not ready to hear and listen and write, he's not ready to speak. The level that Koinonia is right now is already exhausted there. I'm already preparing and aligning for the next seasons. Not today. The preparation of yesterday brought us to where we are today. Thank God for what God is doing around the world through this ministry. But my brothers and my sisters, is child's play. And if we remain complacent, clapping, we will become like the old wine. We must be at the cutting edge of God's move through hunger. Genuine hunger. Oh, that we'll have men and women of God again who will organize program for others but for yourself. You organize a program with the same energy for others for yourself. Hunger. Next point. My time is up. My God. You want to come up higher in the spirit. You will need an encounter with the spirit of prayer and supplication. Please write it down. This is one of the dimensions where the prayer ministry is irreplaceable. If it is the next level and the next move of God, there is no, there is nothing you will do to replace the ministry of prayer. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Please write it quickly. Call on to me and I will answer. The revelation is an answer. It's a response. I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet captured in your experience. Call on to me. Call on to me. Let me tell you something I've observed. And I, I say this respectfully. And I think it's a correction. That the body of Christ needs to get. There are few believers who pray for edification. Most believers have left the ministry of edification through prayer. Most of our prayer is either warfare or request. There's nothing wrong with warfare, there's nothing wrong with request. But let me tell you the dimension of the growth dimension of prayer is for edification where you don't enter the place of prayer with a prayer request where less than five percent of your prayer is in english you are not just entering to harass god you are not just entering to say lord there are powers sitting on my destiny leave destiny the goal is edification and you feel the growth you feel the stretching from your spirit man very few believers pray for edification you can know it because you stand near them they are weak as weak as whatever they love god but their capacity is weak strength is discernible it's why we fall off over everything you don't get this miracle you don't get that miracle you harass god all around but there is a level of strength and stability please hear me the next move of god will come on the wings of genuine prayer thank god for miracle service don't get me wrong there is a place of supplication and all of that and there is a place of intercession for others but can i tell you this those who were here many years ago in zaria will tell you there were few times when many people today that are greatly used by god around there were few times where people took out time to actually pray for their own request believers who gather and just are praying no prayer point no prayer request is towards the end of the prayer they'll just say lord just to let you know we have not eaten 
and we trust your grace for supplies just to let you know that we have this 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 issue but the average believer right now prays but our prayer does not bring the level of growth and stamina because that prayer is largely driven by lust the need for things so i can go to pray and spend six hours there correct well done but that six hours is almost five hours of harassing god when will the power come oh god is that prayer that's inquiry you've not started praying there are few believers who can who can pray if a request is not if a prayer point is not raised you want them to pray you have to raise a prayer point say this then they say so oh, yeah, now follow and I pray it turn it into a prayer point but when you say let's pray they just stand and say so what should we do now and other people are praying and they are just watching but when it's all right everybody stand up Lord Jesus Lord Jesus my life my life this and that this and that I'm not saying anything is wrong with that but have you learned the edification ministry of prayer the edification ministry to the point it used to be a big deal to be filled with the Holy Ghost if you were not filled with the Holy Ghost it was as if you were naked when believers gather by yourself you will find one brother and say sorry can you pray for me it used to be a project but right now there are believers who can be in a place for many years they know about being filled with the Holy Spirit and they don't argue it but they have not seen the need they just feel one day if it happens let me just be filled capacity capacity there are set there are certain levels of grace and anointing that is a waste to come to you it's like pouring a drum of water inside a cup it doesn't make any sense you need to expand please tell somebody expand 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 you don't expand by preaching you don't expand by going for ministration you don't expand just by by doing Bible study for others you don't expand by conducting deliverance for others no you have to lock yourself lock yourself look at Jesus the Word of God filled with the Holy Spirit while others are sleeping they are the ones who need him he will get up in the morning and pray for hours it was a daily habit to the point that when it was time for him to go to the cross from the communion the upper room he branched Gethsemane and prayed there he spake a parable to the end prayer is an instrument that we can use to correct anomalies I agree but please hear me learn to get into the place of prayer without prayer points the prayer point is you the prayer point is you many of those things will be answered when you are answered the prayer point is you there are many many requests that are a revelation of weakness when you access strength with God you will check and not find the prayer points again and you are looking at time you are not praying you are praying you you pop tongue tongue you, put it, you are not praying five minutes you know let me tell you this god loves everybody but he rewards seriousness god rewards seriousness there are pastors who are like that every two minutes you are leaking something or swallowing something there are times that you go to pray my brothers and my sisters you don't know whether you are on earth or you are in heaven you don't know it's a realm there are many things about prayer when it's said most believers don't know because that is a progression in a realm that you must get to for that thing to make sense we must pray our weaknesses are becoming very glaring we must pray for capacity 
in fact most people never sought anointing it was a byproduct of some of these things they didn't even know that anointing was to be sought directly now all and sundry you see a lazy all around crying for benny Hinn's grace in in the secret place five minutes lord the, a, a double portion of what is on benny Hinn. Let it, and God is trying to say, no, no, no. I can give you joy. I don't want any. He, who, you know, if you are God, you give good gifts to those who love you. And God said, this is not how it works. Have regard for Benny, not just God. You want a double portion of his anointing and you are there five minutes snoring back. Five minutes snoring back. No. Revive your prayer life. Revive your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life. Please hear me. Revive the edification dimension of your prayer life don't just pray needs don't just pray warfare pray to grow pray to grow that's how many of us entered the realms of visions it was not a conscious request you pray your way till you break the gate that closes this realm and the next realm prayer like a system of transport revive your prayer life say amen there are men of God who don't pray. They are praying for me. That's a deception. It's a deception from the pit of hell. Let me tell you this. If you are a man of prayer and you are edified through prayer, there is a signature that, that the strength and the health of your spirit man is written upon you. Are we together now? Your communication and everything shows that there is a track record of prayer. You can stand on stage and mumble tongues and people look and the, the scarceness. You know that this one is just, it's just, it's not just the huskiness of your voice. There is a, it, it, the deep calls unto deep. People know that this one, mm -mm, you have, you have, it's like creating a hole. There is a, a position your leg can stand in prayer. When you find a widespread congregation not praying, it's because the leaders don't pray. You only transfer to people out of the abundance of the grace that is on you. Please learn to pray. Don't pray when you have a meeting. This is what people do. When they have conferences, they now organize imaginary um, um, five or seven days prayer I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you have to wait for a program to pray you will never be powerful in this world everybody say prayer I'll find a place to stop so that we can continue a man of God said something that blessed me I think it was Dr. Paul Enenche I heard something that he said I, I scrabbled it somewhere and it it blessed me I said boy I was going to share this I can I can I can't find it again but I think he was talking around the fact that it was it was something about prayer how that when prayer changes you then everything that belonged to the old you will have to go with the old you because you are now changed are you seeing that now yes it's like changing an house. i don't need to carry the tree that was in my former house i didn't like it so i left the house the tree goes with it when you are changed many requests change too he spoke a parable listen the church started on the wings of prayer and we must pray we must pray those listening to me please pray it doesn't matter what nation you are in pray you don't have to be the president of anything to pray right now this obsession about coordinator I'm the coordinator of a prayer group so I pray if you pray because you are a coordinator you are a hypocrite
coordinate yourself behind a tree coordinate yourself behind the door and sit down and pray if there's no space in your house use your bathroom use your toilet lock up that place and pray stroll out in the night and pray you don't have to shout and harass the people there but pray if your bed is uncomfortable stand up from it stand up from it don't pray one leg is on the ground 20 or 40 percent of your body is on the bed and you are praying god knows you are weak he doesn't leave you weak he gives you strength prove that you have received it by standing up you don't have to have a bad dream then you wake up and say you don't know, i will show you that i'm a member of koinonia Shaka, ta, 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 ta. no 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 make deposits of that prayer so that while you are sleeping the prayer is like you praying there are people who are praying even when they are not praying yeah their prayer has created a prayer motion that even in their sleep prayer is going on their prayer has become a portal for angelic activities they don't have to pray for it to start call on to me call on to me call on to me Zechariah chapter 12 we'll stop here and pray we'll continue next week Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 come up here through prayer verse 10 Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 and it shall come to pass in that day said the Lord and I will pour upon the house of David the house of Koinonia and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that the spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray if you pray only because you are in prayer band you are not a prayer warrior a prayer warrior is not somebody what is who is a warrior remove prayer a warrior boxer learns every day a warrior chef cooks every day whether there's an appointment or not a warrior lecturer teaches every day a prayer warrior prays every day if a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing the scribes and the pharisees were never called prayer warriors they were called hypocrites are we together we'll take 10 minutes or so to pray come up here new dimensions in the spirit hallelujah before we pray just cry in one minute lord thank you for what you have done at this level but baptize me with a fresh hunger a hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in God in my life thank you oh God for the people I have mentored but a fresh hunger pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger culminating into passion not just passion for studying books not just passion for studying the Bible not just passion for going to church not just passion for serving in the house of God passion to pray not just praying and asking praying and growing praying and rising are you praying Hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God, hunger, oh God. Oh 
Challenge pride. Challenge the deceptiveness of fame. The deceptiveness of fame glory. Thank you Lord for these things you have done. But I cry for hunger. I cry for a test. To understand what you are saying next. To understand what you are doing next. Parado shalakata. Hallelujah. 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 In the next maybe five to ten minutes, I just want you to blast in tongues. You are not challenging any demon. You are not asking God to give you anything. No tea, no bread, no anointing, no ministry. You are praying for your edification. That your spirit man be built. Enlarge your capacity in the spirit. Enlarge your vision in the spirit. Enlarge discernment in the spirit. Shanabash, Rakata, Rakata, the Prakatelech, Sham Prato, Sekete, La Parandas, Kaparo, Zeketa, Epros, Kemarato, Shelekato, Sebret, Shekanegenegenebos, Kaprato, Kaparo, Sasia, Makata. Emprona Sadash Kala Bros Geneva Hashalema Bros Shereba Balana Balana Ba Shegade Balana Balana Ba Vena Balana Vena Vena Nana Though our outward man perish, yet the inner man is renewed. The spirit of grace and supplication 
Makata barandas kabarekos. Eprete keteleka topras kadabalakata. The body, the flesh may be weak, but I tell you, the spirit is willing, willing to go to a higher dimension, willing to go to a higher face, willing to come up to a level where you will see the things that must happen. Pray young and old. Satarekete barakatos kalabrandegata. Be a man of God. You don't have to be a woman of God. You don't have to be a deacon. You just need to be one hungry and passionate for another dimension. Higher than that which you have seen. Elena sana makaratos. Elebarus ezenekali adabarash. For my spirit man, on behalf of the generation committed to me, on behalf of the, the mistreated to me, Salamanakata, Salamanakata, Parakato Zezem, Emprakatata Kate Balakatos, Sebros Kamahashanish, Emprakatekatekatekatekatekate, Shaprokoto Parakato Zedegesia. Do not be drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves. In psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. Adabarandas kabarato shalakata pranegate kados kele baruta segete bash. He speak a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray. The the cure for spiritual laxity is prayer. The cure for spiritual limitation is prayer. The cure for timidity and weakness is prayer. The cure for weakness in ministry is prayer. The cure for spiritual weakness is prayer. The cure for aberrated dreams and visions, prayer. The cure for stale revelations, prayer. The cure for the absence of power, prayer. The cure for newness without freshness, prayer. Shalabarakata, makata braskata barakate. Shakata, shakata, shaseta, ambrata, barakata, bata. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why many worshippers don't receive songs because they don't pray. Many worshippers write songs, they wax album, but they don't pray. One of the proof 
of a healthy prayer life is the reception of spiritual songs let me tell you you don't have to be a musician there is a dimension of prayer that you get to you must receive melodies in the spirit you must you may forget it after the prayer but you will need it as a ladder to keep climbing I tell you why many there are stale songs in the church because many of them are composed composed by an appetite to generate revenue there are people who used to sleep with guitars and keyboards and they will lie down and play for hours 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 that's how to be a worshiper that's how to bring songs from heaven I tell you why many preachers are not fresh they quickly open their Bible and browse on YouTube and browse on the internet you prepare your sermon not by studying prayer creates the coordination on what to study if you sit down with a notebook and you just feel I know what to say oh I'm teaching about this no you carry your notebook you carry this when I go to bed my Bible follows me my books I'm on one side my Bible is there my laptop is there my phone is there everything that helps my spiritual life lies down the bed with me you don't prepare a message by going on YouTube you prepare a message by going to the secret place you pray and pray and you get to a point where your spirit man begins to zoom around a central thought that the spirit is speaking you see that and that's how series upon series will come out if you if you do ministry and preach just by looking for sermons per week you will not last one month you will not have anything to say again before the time of prayer you may not even know what to share in a conference what to share in this book you just pray prayer is powerful prayer is powerful prayer is powerful hallelujah so in my example like i gave every time there was delay in a man's life restoration came exclusively through the prophetic are we together now that means that if i want the power of god to bring restoration to this man the power of god must flow through the prophetic to produce that effect if it flows through any other channel it may bless the man but not restoration are you getting what i'm saying now that means that if i want restoration i will create a pathway of the prophetic for the anointing to come and bless this man this is very very powerful because most believers um and this is the reason why you may want to reason this with me for a while that our fathers respectfully speaking and all those who have gone to be with the lord a number of them did not pay the price to get illumination and spiritual enlightenment are we together they subjected themselves in much fasting and prayer and they had very heavy deposits of the anointing but you notice that with the level of anointing they had their results were small because the understanding that will give that anointing expression to manifest in the various facets of their lives were not there we went to second kings yesterday and we saw how that the problem was not the oil the problem was the vessels the vessels if there is a vessel of the understanding of the healing ministry and it is filled the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of prosperity the anointing will flow if there is a vessel of church growth the church will grow if there is a vessel of speed etc etc so it's not enough to be anointed that's why jesus mentored people by giving them over 99 percent teaching they sat under a strong teaching ministry and then in one day they received an impartation we reverse the case in our generation we are always doing impartations we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up we lay hands you fall down you stand up but the results do not change because the understanding that gives it expression is not there notice that for such people 
who have been receiving impartation for many years the day they get any light the result is almost instant because it's like the anointing has been piling up just waiting for the doorway that opens for it the walking knowledge of the power of god i believe in the power of god but it is very frustrating to not know how it can translate to the results of people your being anointed does not mean anything until lives are changed and transformed in a way that is notable enough please listen listen take note of it in a way that is notable enough in a crowd like this my brothers and sisters please reason with me that in a crowd of thousands of people like this and several others from around the world imagine that at the end of this service only three or four or five people are healed delivered or lifted by God's standard even by human standards you did a bad job so you are a blessing to the degree to which you have intimacy with God and you understand the operations of his divine power enough to be able to flow like a river Shabakataya. flow like a river so that in one hour someone who is probably standing I'm, I'm told they had to create a new overflow so let's use the overflow four right you're just standing at overflow four hoping lord will you touch me and in five minutes you check around and you cannot understand your life again because you have moved to another dimension his divine power his divine power please hear me whatever issue of concern it is the divine power of god that is able to produce it we're here thousands of us with our various requests representing our pain our disappointments our frustrations our expectations my assignment as a man of god is to bring your challenges face to face first with god and then his divine power and then if i can do that i finish my assignment my assignment is to connect your situation with the power of god and get out of the way and then you watch the wonder working power of jesus when you don't get out of the way you become an interruption to the efficiency of the power so the assignment of an anointed man of god as it were is to allow the lord to use him by the spirit of god to connect the challenges of people to his divine power if you can do that a miracle service has started hallelujah and so then it becomes it becomes mandatory upon us men and women of god to study the systems that can help us connect the power of god to people's problems like you connect a a, a fuse to a socket and switch it on you finish yours and the gadget begins to work it works for as long as that connection is there mm. hallelujah praise the lord so let it not surprise you if within the next few minutes you turn around and cannot see what you came here with it is his divine power mm. his divine power remember the testimony of our precious mother was so touched when she shared that testimony just like that in the twinkling of an eye someone's life changes the twinkling of an eye a grace you did not come here with goes back with you a twinkling of an eye a challenge that you have had that has been age long listen let me tell you don't get too used to the hand of satan on your life just because his hand has rested for a long time does not mean it cannot be lifted you tried lifting it with different graces so they did their best but there are graces that can lift it is true it is true praise the lord your assignment tonight is to believe that his divine power is able to come through for you and then number two to be prepared listen listen please this is your own part now to be prepared to respond by faith what does it mean to respond by faith to listen for the instructions that make for your results it's important 
every result has a strategy a pathway that produces it if your challenge is jericho you need to know how to go around and shout if your challenge is the red sea you need to know how to use the rod to part it if your challenge is five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand you need to know the mystery of thanksgiving that makes for multiplication if your challenge is the leprosy of naaman you need to know how to go to jordan to wash all results are not produced by the same strategy it is the same divine power but your faith must be anchored on an instruction that is tied to it deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i command you this day it says that you will be set up on high above all nations of the earth and that all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you praise the lord that's how it works so while you take your eyes away from your pain you must set your gaze on something else jesus the possibilities is it true oh god that you can turn my family situation around seven of us came for this miracle service and lord i don't even know where you will start but then you listen you listen you listen sometimes it can come as one prophetic word and it's done look let me tell you something the ease with which miracles happen i think is the reason why many people cannot receive it how do you look at someone like this and say go it's done what does that mean you are making a mockery of me i sang praise and worship i rolled on the ground and i stood here and all you tell me is go was that not what naman was complaining about he said you mean you want to embarrass me i just go and wash in a river I thought you will even come out and salute me and give me something more intelligent but you see the ways of God are not like the ways of men Jesus was speaking to Nicodemus and he said the wind blow it where it listed he says you cannot tell where it's going nor where it's coming he says so is one who is led of the spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the ways of God you have to be spiritual because traditions of men can make the word of god of non effect it can strangle the potency of god's word but tonight i agree with you and i know that there are people here who are determined that everything we are going to be doing here within the next hour or so that it will culminate to a tangible result let me tell you this i love jesus christ i love him with all my heart and i made a vow unto god that among the many things that will happen to the people that he ever brings to me and puts under my care wasting their time will not be part of it i made up my mind by god that you should not come for koinonia twice to testify no 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 you should come twice to grow you should come twice to learn you should come twice to know god but one encounter should be enough it's true one encounter apostle i came to take fresh fire one encounter one encounter i came to break the bands of witchcraft and wickedness in my family one encounter one encounter apostle my family members did not come with me but they asked me to represent them it doesn't matter one encounter the power of god master he says he told the centurion let me come to your house to honor you being a captain in the army he said no for i am also like you a man under authority i understand the stretching power of authority i may be limited as a person but the roman government has a jurisdiction and that whoever is under the influence of that government can feel the effect of the government so they may not be here but the earth is still the lord's so they are still within the jurisdiction of his reach and if you are a man under the authority of that owner then the power of god should flow riding on the integrity and the sovereign power of that owner to touch anybody anywhere this i believe this i believe this i believe apostle i don't even know the name of my situation i've gone to the hospital they have done everything 
Jesus, if he said he was just healer, would have found reason to be afraid later on. But he says, I am the resurrection and the life. What is resurrection? Giving life to something that has no business having life. Resurrection. Resurrection. I am he that was dead, but now is alive. Apostle, I came here with my CV. Is it that God cannot give me a job? I've gone around looking for jobs again and again. I've applied everywhere. God should see my family. What then is the blessing if the anointing cannot change the situation? What does it mean to be a blessing as a man of God? Does it mean to preach well? Does it mean to be sympathetic to people's situation? As important as that is sympathy does not produce result it only provides comfort god did not call us to be sympathizers no he says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me too then he begins to list all the things that will happen and then at the end of all of those things he says to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called oak or the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might in their result be glorified john chapter 17 and verse 1 jesus christ lifted up his eyes to the heavens praying and he taught us a principle there verse one he says father the hour has come and then he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee so how is god glorified when the son is glorified how is god glorified as a healer when the son is healed when the daughter is healed how is god glorified as a lifter when the son is lifted when the daughter is lifted how is god glorified as a deliverer the dimension of god that he gets glory from is the dimension that the result manifests in your life he cannot be glorified as one who is quick and powerful until your life testifies it your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your power is real i testify how then do you know the favor of god is real listen 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 your faith must grow to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is predicated on god's integrity are we together now it, uh, on who god is but trust is based on his integrity and his track record you cannot trust a man until there is a track record are we together if i'm meeting you for the first time dr emeka and they tell me you are a doctor I will have faith in you i can't trust you it's too early it's too early to trust you i will see what your injection does for me are we together now when you give me an injection and i cannot walk what should happen to you when you give me an injection i am fine then i come to you and you give me a recommendation and it works i begin to note you and associate you with my joy and then eventually I conclude that this man is worth my belief this man is also worth my staking my all to so that the day you give me an instruction that I do not understand I can reach back at the archives of your track record and say I may not know what you are saying but I know what you said and I know what I saw Genesis 21 verse 1 Genesis 21 i testify i testify that your goodness is real i testify i testify that your goodness is real and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did to sarah as he has spoken trust in the lord how do you trust in the lord take cognizance of his benefits be observant what did he do in 2001 
what did he do in 2005 you see if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say on the strength of that track record they named him they gave a name that should not change a testament of their trust a testament of their trust so your assignment is to believe that god is able take your eyes away i repeat take your eyes away Please take your eyes away from anything that is not Jesus tonight and focus. Apostle, they've prayed for me. A prophet just like you prayed for me. An apostle just like you prayed for me. A pastor even conducted night vigils in our house. I know and I respect God and I respect the grace upon that man. Except that one more thing I did not teach you about the anointing is that not every anointing blesses you. The man must be sent. There were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent. When the word of God passes you, it does not bless you. It is when it is sent. He sent, not brought. He sent forth. It was when the king sent for Joseph that his life changed. When I sent thee, lackest thou anything. Not when you moved around. When I sent thee. Because every time he sends it, his integrity is upon it. Tonight, God is sending his word to me, to you, to us. The word that lifts, the word for your ministry, the word for your life is going to be a quick walk. Some of you write from the communion. As you partake from the communion, you finish your own miracle service. You will just join others in rejoicing. It's true. You know, yesterday I observed and we learned yesterday that the reason why the communion does not produce is because we are only eating bread and juice we have not discerned it the bible says there is a sin that a man can commit the sin of not discerning the lord's body you cannot discern the possibilities that come from that body for many years i took communion and i was left in the dark as to the relevance of this thing in my life I would just take the wafer and take the the drink and then stop there nothing happened until i found out that the life-giving factor of everything is understanding understanding is what gives life to the spiritual activities and the processes that we're involved with so it is not enough to just hear it is not enough to just do it is the understanding that sponsors what we do that produces the results I don't know if there are people here tonight who are here insisting that as surely as there is a God in heaven, whatever I came with, I must leave it here tonight. Hmm. It is important. God is giving you understanding now. When I came into the house of the Lord, then understood I. The house of God is Bethel, not just a place of bread, but a place where the bread is broken. Two men met Jesus in M house and they began to discuss the Messiah and he was there with them but they could not see. And then when he broke bread, the Bible declares that their eyes were open and he departed. My assignment is to continue to study continually by the Spirit the processes that makes for the liberty of the saints much more than the transformation of the saints much more than providing an atmosphere for encounters the saints need to be brought to a point where they encounter the reality of god's power the power of god can be encountered hallelujah so we're going to partake of the communion very quickly and for many of you this will be one communion you will not forget it doesn't matter even if you are the one who serves your own communion you may serve it like a ritual the wafer does not have any power to do anything for you the bread the cup does not have any power but how shall these things be when i'm using only bread and cup the power of the highest 
shall overshadow that emblem and whatever comes out of it can produce any result a handkerchief and an apron is not even alive talk more of having faith but when his divine power comes upon it it becomes an instrument of signs and wonders the air that you breathe and the sound that is produced from you does not sustain any power except that when your speaking becomes the voice of god then it is no longer the words of men john said i am the voice of one so when you hear me you hear that one hallelujah when it's time to pray for the sick i like you to believe god believe god to set people free we we'll do it very fast because there are so many people and praying for the sick takes a lot of time we'll do it fast and then after that we'll do the deliverance and the impartation and whatever it is that needs to leave you it must go it must go this night it must go this night please jump up on your feet your divine power your divine power able to lift me to a higher dimension in the spirit your divine power is someone praying on the last day of the feast jesus came and said is anyone thirsty is anyone thirsty the final day of the feast go ahead and pray please inside outside lift your voices and pray are you praying lord i believe it is your divine power now i know how the results will come your divine power i know how the lifting will come your divine power i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. Yeah. Lift your voice and pray. Sabarando Senekatabariatash. Tonight is my night. I discern. I discern. Sabrakato Seneke Prashd. Endele Gabrande Zedika Shobragadabaladabash. Krato Zazigadabarunde Ketosh. Embrakato Zaleke Pradish. Shebradika Posh. Rakato Bariadabaladabash. Rakatu barindes kemeritash. Rakaparuda siyadabala dadaba. He barando jele karusi adabala daba. Please keep praying. hallelujah john chapter 6 john chapter 6 we'll begin our reading from verse 49 to 56 john chapter 6 your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead next verse this is the bread which cometh down from heaven 
that a man may eat thereof and not die 51 i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh not is like my flesh is my flesh which i give for the life of the world 52 and the jews therefore strove among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat 53 then jesus said unto them verily verily i say unto you except ye eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood ye have no life in you stop here just just go back just go back this is what he's saying that in the flesh of the son of man and in the blood of the son of man is his life that the life of the flesh is in the blood are we together now listen very carefully so that when you partake please keep that scripture when you partake of it with understanding the bible says that you are not just taking a wafer you are not just taking a drink but that you are you are opening up yourself to partake of the life of god next verse 54 whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had i told you the word there is not eternal life is the word so way it's not the longevity of the life but the quality of the life and i will raise him up on the last day 55 we're stopping at 56 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed the last verse he that eateth my flesh this is it and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him this is a theological concept called the doctrine of interpenetration is the system by which two separate entities are interwoven to become one the same mystery in marriage the same mystery with the spirit of god so that by the mystery of partaking in the communion that means the spirit should not know the difference between your body and god's body are we together now yes let me tell you what that means come look at this emeka come watch this if this lady is his wife and she's weak and he's strong his strength is her own too you understand that are you getting me not part of his strength his strength so if you say she's strong you are right are we together now this is very important now that means that when she's strong and he's weak her strength is his strength too interpenetration and so now when you partake of this although your body may be weak and frail although your finances may be weak and frail although your ministry may be weak and frail although your body may be ravaged by all kinds of demons but here you are introducing like you are shaking the hand of the other partner in a wrestling and here he comes through this mystery as little as this is let me tell you when you understand this mystery you will not even be able to hold this thing you see like this hallelujah i'm going to pray on this and then we're going to distribute it around it's simple enough for you to open you just here open the wafer and then the drink and please the moment you do do not litter the ground do not litter the ground i don't know what provision has been made for that but if no provision has been made whilst you take it provided you are not under the anointing just pass it to the last person at the aisle and then you make it easy for the ushers or whoever is involved to just pick them up you can use the off the bowls or whatever you have to have them we're going to pray please pray in one minute and mention the things that must live your life because they are not found in the life of the Christ. Please pray. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season, creating day and night. Turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your pleasing. But I can't Let's 
Blessed are you, O Lord our God, eternity's holy Blessed are you, O Lord our God, whose words brings in the evening. Please pray one minute. We discern your body. We discern your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, it should go round. I believe that they just brought this to represent the communion. I'm going to pray on this. This is ordinary welfare and a drink. But not after the power of God comes upon it. It says anything receives power after the Holy Ghost comes on it. Not just men. You shall receive power. The you can be this. Can receive power. Provided the Holy Ghost comes on it. It didn't say men shall receive power. No. Anything receives power when the Holy Ghost comes upon it. Your pain receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your ministry receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Your communion receives power when the Holy Ghost comes on it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon this. I lay my hands upon this communion, representing all others that are not here. I decree, O oh God, that in a very strange way, may your power flow through this in the name of Jesus. Let it bring miracles. Let it bring all kinds of deliverances. In the name of Jesus. Whoever partakes of this tonight. In the name of Jesus. I declare. Instantly. May your power begin to rest upon them. Let all kinds of breakthroughs begin to happen. Let infirmities give way in the name of Jesus. Let deliverances. Let devils and demons begin to leave. Let doors begin to open. In the name of Jesus Christ. My flesh is meat indeed. We partake with understanding. We partake with understanding. Please make sure everybody, something will begin to happen to you as you partake of this. You will marvel and wonder at the power of the communion. Go ahead, take it with faith and watch the wonder-walking power. The wonder-walking power of Jesus. The wonder-walking power of Jesus. bring all those under the anointing out please bring them out quickly while we wait for the rest to finish please just bring them out quickly something is opening up in your spirit man my flesh is meat indeed my blood is drink indeed Please bring those under the anointing. There is a reason why I ask you to bring them. I want to pray for them. Something is already happening in the realm of the spirit.
Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Shalaka paruda seketa. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life. has not been planted by my father will be uprooted is it not written in your word that for this purpose the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy I decree in the name of Jesus we are going to begin to minister now that every force that is not of the Christ 
Right now I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd inside and outside everybody under any kind of bondage I decree be free now be free now I command judgment on strange spirits in the name of Jesus the spirits of ancestry the workings of bloodlines and territories I come against you by the God of heaven where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty listen we are still praying please pay attention I'm praying now the Lord is showing me families I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression nothing moves in that family you can go to school it doesn't make any difference you can get a job it doesn't make any difference have a business it doesn't make any difference I stretch my hands where are those people inside and outside I declare right now the power of God is coming upon you it's time for your family to be released at the count of three one two three be free now be free now be free now I lose your family I set them free I set them free Shamanda Kaskabarakata Embrekete Kaparoto Seteka Zeketeketeketekete Zebaka Proske Baru Zasia Embrakata Lakato Zasia Rakata Hemanda Barandos Kabarikata Surely there is an end, the Bible says surely there is an end even weeping endures only for a night i declare freedom on those families now i declare freedom don't be distracted just pay attention please you rise to a level and then you crash back it's a pattern that exists in families there's nothing wrong with rising keep rising but you plateau at a level and then you crash back I stretch my hands now this is what the Lord is showing me my God my God I decree and declare the spirit that causes men to rise up and crash back in shame represented in anyone here the legal hold upon which you operate is caused now in the name of Jesus I release such people right now be released in the name of Jesus be released in the name of Jesus overflow three please lift your hands the Lord is showing me something happening in overflow three overflow three please lift your hands mighty God mighty God I see a lot of attacks serious attacks on overflow three I don't know for whatever reason that the people that are sitting there I'm seeing a lot of attacks at the count of three overflow three I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there overflow three one two three shout Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside the gate of a prison like the front of a prison 
And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage, I declare that those chains are loose now. I declare that those chains are loose now. And for all those in front here, representing all those that I'm praying for, I declare not only that the spirits leave you, but that whatever they took from you, as surely as the God of heaven leaves, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go out of them now in the name of jesus release their families release their spiritual lives release their finances parados is a hasaka parodasia lembra getos kalarishas hebras kodash Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this row, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here. And I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here. Something is being removed out of people's stomachs. That's what the Lord is showing me. Just this row. I don't know what it is, but God is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living God. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. I place the word of God upon that situation. It must let you go right now. The Lord is taking something out. I still continue to see this vision. God is taking something out of people's stomachs. The spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty I'm seeing the feet of a man and I'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what I see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families and i declare right now according to that which the lord has shown me in the name of jesus that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position right now by the power of the holy spirit right now something is happening to people i decree i decree and i declare let there be liberty now inside outside let there be liberty right now let there be liberty liberty i command progress to your life move forward i push you by prophecy move forward make progress move forward make progress i forbid stagnation move forward make progress I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. 
usher be discerning in the name of Jesus that lady is not yet free it's a realm of your grace I can see your mighty power moving in this place we're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings and like the voice of many waters I can hear the angels sing you are holy you are holy you are holy Please someone to join the PR can join the ushers protocol can join the ushers I want to pray there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace speed is not progress no no there is a difference between progress and speed I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life if not that it happened I know there is advancement and I know there is speed but I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter truly let me tell you there is a real grace for speed and when that grace comes on you you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer the reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit I don't know why it happens that way be sensitive please and then it is of the spirit please don't ask me why it happens that way but if you will let me pray this prayer tonight God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month I know it works when you have this grace on your life you don't fear delay it makes no difference you will gain time within moments I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace I stretch my hands inside everywhere overflow one two three online father I pray right now let the grace for speed at the count of three come upon someone one two Three, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. This is a major answer to your prayer. I declare it again. Speed. Speed. Receive it. Receive it. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. You can be picked up upon the wings of the Spirit and do things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard. I pray it again. Those outside receive it. Those outside receive it. I declare speed. In the similitude of Elijah, you will run and you will overtake the chariots of Ahab. 
Alléluia. 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 We are going to pray. We have to redeem time. There is a lot to do. Your wife started a journey in the spirit. I'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life. There is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her. It's begun gradually. This woman you are seeing, as frail as she may look, but the hand of God will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of God with power. I stretch my hands upon you and I pray that the spirit of God will perfect. Let there be a bedding a betting of the things that he has begun upon your life a betting of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands i don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that god is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what i hear number two this speed that you see i prayed for is coming upon you i stretch my hands may that grace in the name of jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then i declare speed you receive it now move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there's an elderly woman here called rebecca 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 if we talk to people the time will be gone we have to honor it so that we can do some other things who is that rebecca please when you find the person i want to talk to her in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a, a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Confirm. Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because... Um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this. Just like that. Just out of someone. This is what I saw. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I'll pray for you. Your name is Rebecca too? Please come. I will pray for you. I found the person I'm ministering to, but I'll pray for you. From where, madam? From where? From area C. Area C. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. What's wrong with your back? Back pain. This is what it's I'm true. seeing. You it's get up true, in the morning and, and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's chest true. around the breast yes, region. Yes, yeah. it's true. The Lord is setting it's you true. free right now, madam. Yes, in the name of Jesus, let it be over right now and forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam. 
in the name of Jesus Christ that God himself will bless you and not only bless you where are your children madam huh? here. your children are here yes. where are they Isaac. Patient Isaac. And Sarah. this may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick there's a lot patience and Isaac yeah. let me just pray for you if, if you are the only one who can represent them stand up please my friend Mama, I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to a very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden that the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something. They will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach. I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one. Oh, please hold on. There is a growth. There is a growth. There is a growth. This has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of God is touching that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ my dear in Jesus name by the Spirit of the Living God we declare your liberty complete total final in Jesus name I pray praise the Lord now we're going to pray for the sick Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lift people. And most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one. But because this is a miracle service dedicated for that. The Lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city. And it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of God extend to people. We'll do it very fast. Um, all of the overflows, all of the overflows, I would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly. Please, I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen. That's where you are going to be prayed for. Um, the ones that spill over do I call that overflow five now I will just request you to be patient we are going to assign a person or two there to minister to you but overflow four three two one and right in here you are here you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself please make your way out here very quickly and let's trust the God of heaven to set you free you are here full of faith please stand up please stand up if you kneel, there will not be space. Just come, stand. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come in. If you're outside, just go to your overflow. Please. Hallelujah. Myself, alongside the men and the women of God represented here, will be praying for you. Look how many people are trusting God to touch them. Hallelujah. Now, please. You don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak. Just let them minister to you. If there is need to speak any words, they will let you know. Praise the Lord. There are so many people this night, and so we we'll do our best so we can gain time. And just, just line everybody here, and then we'll pray for you. Praise the Lord. What?
prayed for just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening our time is already gone please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you especially for those outside you're yet to submit your request just stretch your hands right here and let us agree this hold on please this is not religion this is not tradition this is not a ritual this is a mystery it's a revelation let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service because when we have the form without the power then it will not bless us there have been many many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here and um, since I'm the only one here let the men of God minister to you if you are still being ministered to just focus on the ministration but then for all others just stretch your hands towards me and let's agree that these Egyptians we see today that we will see no more please agree release your faith and believe we are praying we may not be able to prophesy to you personally we may not be able to give you a word of knowledge but this is a representation of your heart your pain your desire your expectation the bible says and thine expectation shall not be cut short stretch your hands and let's agree there is a god that answers prayers you someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we are declaring as the church we are releasing an anointing the divine power of god upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come in the name of jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people we decree and we declare makratos kalambra de keparuza ziakata bradias ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash kritos kalabara gadabala nabosh shalabaranda kapuros likete kete baradabash we decree and we declare manda prados kaziza hashkala baranda kata arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy give your people testimonies in the name of jesus jiprakatos kalabarakata believers pray we are agreeing likato janana katabarados jabros katabaranda kata supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power lord in the name of jesus we declare supernatural workings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles we declare miracles of provisions. We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus. We declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse walkings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles.
boots on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus, we declare diverse testimonies tonight by the workings of miracles, by the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father, Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, oh God. Uh, in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on. Always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus the grace you don't have to kneel please you don't have to kneel the grace that makes for a new level of visions people have lost visions in the body of Christ we tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything father the eyes that see genuine visions let there be a restoration let that mantle fall upon someone right now in the name of Jesus Christ the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit receive it now in the name of Jesus that prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names the grace for the prophetic in a new dimension who is this grace coming upon upon all flesh he says i will pour out my spirit receive that anointing now in the name of jesus i believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering around. 
in the name of Jesus Christ upon as many whose hearts are open father the anointing the real anointing for signs for wonders inside outside especially upon men and women of God I decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of Jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group I say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of Jesus the spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice he says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness i declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um, run it was the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the Lord that showed mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea, the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually I decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now i want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of god verbatim i declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness i believe there is a grace for wealth i believe it 
I believe there are principles for wealth. I believe there are understandings that can bring resources. But I believe there is a grace. There is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings. When that grace came upon Saul, three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one. In the name that is above all names, in this season that God has ordained for the body, that in addition to the prosperity of our souls, in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation, let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction. He said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Don't touch this one. There is something upon it. I decree and declare, let the mark that exempts men from terrorism, from kidnapping, from assassination, from accidents, the grace that exempts, receive it right now. For you and for your family, receive it right now. Receive it right now. I declare that whatever you have lost coming here, it doesn't matter how long, please believe, release your faith. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I command a sevenfold restoration. I command a sevenfold restoration. Restoration of anointings, of money, of ideas, of relationships, of access, of illumination. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every ministry represented here. Whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders. I declare by the power of the spirit, shift to a new dimension. Shift to a new dimension of teaching, of the miraculous, of the demonstration of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will multiply them. They will not be small. I will glorify them. They will not be few. Whatever keeps you small, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, that power is broken over you now. All those trusting God for jobs here, yeah. you are trusting God, you have agreed with God, and said, Lord, settle me, give me an honorable job. I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business father the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth. I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value. The grace, the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded. May that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every dying business here. Hear the word of the Lord. Come alive now in the name of Jesus. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary. In the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest that can put a seed in the womb of a woman. And keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. 
the Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power I declare whoever has the power to support you the power to help lift you we compel them by the spirit to favor you in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray in the name of Jesus we're rounding up the prayer and fasting many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually I declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven in the name of Jesus every attack on your prayer life Shagapo sana kaparagados Reketele kotosobadia Let the seven lampstands Of your prayer life Be lit back right now In the name of Jesus Christ Receive the grace to travel Receive the grace to pray Any evil and wicked company an association around your life you are not free till your association is free I declare to you you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God I declare a separation between you and the wicked I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we're done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Jesus. Let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life, we release them. Listen, listen. Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain. It returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place. Then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree, an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established I pray for you every long standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life I declare right now in the name of Jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now.
anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed, may God answer their prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for all of those who have come from far. I agree with you. I release my faith. Whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting. I agree. The same way Moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face. Return with the grace to prove that you met God. Return with the testimonies that prove that you met God. Return with the signs, the wonders, the transformation, the illumination. Return with the evidences of an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. I sincerely apologize. But we thank the Lord for the encounter tonight. He will live to testify. Very quickly, please let's, let's settle down. Very quickly, please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone. There are people here. Please listen. Overflow one, two, three, four online. There are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight. And whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the Lord did in this place, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need Jesus. Jesus is not an idea. Jesus is not something and someone you can do without. I believe with all my heart that, and please prepare to clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three. If you are at the door, please shift. There are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying, Apostle, if you will make an altar call, I need Jesus. I need him desperately. I need him truly. There are others who are saying, I love Jesus, but for whatever reason, I need a restoration and I need my life back with him. Whether you belong to any of these categories, please, inside and outside. I'm only going to count five. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here. It will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus. Don't wait for someone to come before you be the first. I'm counting. One. Come quickly. Come quickly. Koinonia, let's honor them. Let's motivate them as they come. Please clear the way for those who are coming from outside. Two. Apostle, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. I come from a Christian family. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. I have very good friends. Am I born again? No, sir. Join them. The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are anyone's coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I receive your life I receive your grace and I declare please help them and I declare that salvation is mine new life is mine from today till forever Jesus is my Savior is my Lord, is my friend. I receive the abundance of grace Hello, beloved in Christ. and the gift of righteousness. And I declare 
times that I reign If you are life. new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.